Hi, I'm Tom Barkley. I'm the Senior Product Manager for Motion and Interaction, and I want to share with you some of the exciting new features of the new release of Flash Professional CC. One of the th first things that you'll see when you start up Flash Pro is that it starts up in under two seconds. So before we get to some of the uh, exciting new features, I just wanted to highlight some of the performance efficiencies that will make everyday work more enjoyable within Flash Professional and make you much more efficient as a designer and as an animator working within the tool. So you'll notice that 64-bit now gives you the ability to work with very large projects. And you can scroll through the library and you see the updates without hesitation. Scrubbing through the timeline is dramatically faster. In fact, you'll find that saving your files, opening your files, publishing are all several times faster than before. So here's an application that has uh, a lot of different objects here in the timeline, and you'll see that it's running um, at high resolution at 1080p. And we can actually go into full screen mode, which is one of the new features in Flash Professional. We can zoom all the way out so you can see all of your artwork um, without distractions. If you want to bring up a panel, you can just move your mouse over that panel and it'll highlight it. Um, and you have the ability now to be able to center the content on the stage. So you can click on this new button up here to center the stage. So no matter where you are, you can get right back to your stage. And then we've added the ability to be able to see all of your content no matter how large it is, um, including the ability to have an unlimited pasteboard size. So this looks awfully small, but it's actually 26,000 pixels wide. So this is ideal for people who want to be able to develop game levels, that want to be able to stretch the game out over whatever width that they want, and then move that game across the stage. And uh, we've also enhanced, there's some nice little efficiencies that we've added here to make it easier to work with multiple layers in the timeline. So you can select your layers, and you can change um, the properties of those layers um, in one stroke. So I can turn on all of these layers just by selecting them, click Show, click OK, and now they're all turned on. You could do the same thing for guide layers, for mask layers. Much easier to be able to work and set properties across multiple layers concurrently. Um, another efficiency that you'll find is the ability to have real-time preview. You can see as you're drawing, you can see the shape changes, the fills, the strokes change, and you can also change your gradients. So if I double click on this uh, sky gradient here and select my gradient tool, I can actually change that gradient. If I go back into full screen mode, it's a little bit easier to see. So here you can see we have the gradient tool selected and we have the gradient selected. And now by, you can move the gradient around, and as you're moving it around, you can see the change happening in real time. You can see I'm tilting that gradient, and you can see the change happen. That's an example of the real-time preview uh, that's now possible thanks to the extra performance that's part of Flash Professional CC. We've also added a nice shortcut to quickly get to the symbol properties. All you have to do is select on the movie clip, click on this link here, and it opens up the symbol properties. Easy as that. So in addition to some of those more designer and animator types of uh, efficiency improvements, we've also added a brand new code editor that was built on the open source Scintilla text library, also 64-bit, much faster, uh, and provides the ability to be able to uh, search for your code with a new find and replace dialog. So here's the new actions panel. Um, and you can see we have quite reliable code hinting and code completion available. And we have the ability to be able to search um, or do find and replace right here within the Actions panel. But you can also bring up the find and replace panel. You can search for code, and you can search for code across your project. Um, also for developers, we've added many new JS APIs. We've added the ability to add custom metadata to your project. Uh, you have advanced profiling support using Adobe Scout. And then we've enhanced the workflows for publishing Air applications to Android and iOS. So one of the more exciting new features that we've added to Flash Professional CC is the ability to publish your content out to high definition video as well as audio without dropping frames, something that was never possible before in Flash. So as you can see here, I have an animation that runs at 1080p. If I do a test movie, you'll see that it's got some nice audio. Um, it's got some text overlaying. We've got the character running here. And now I can actually publish this out to a video. 
And I can choose whether I want to have alpha channel support so you can have a transparent background. Um, I can even open it up in Adobe Media Encoder and tr automatically transcode it into whatever format that I want. So you can simply select the duration of the timeline or set an elapsed time frame that you want to capture, click export, and it will automatically encode all of your content, even, even animation that's been scripted in ActionScript 3. So you can have nested movie clips, uh, audio, scripted animations, all captured in 1080p. So let's take a look at the final results. Here it's been converted uh, to uh, an MP4 file in Adobe Media Encoder. And you can see you've got the 25 frames per second from the original movie. Great quality. You've got the audio. This makes it possible to create broadcast quality graphics and full-length animations from your vector content within Flash Professional. So also on Flash Professional CC, we've integrated the toolkit for CreateJS, which we introduced in Flash Professional CS6. This allows you to create your content in Flash Professional and publish it out to HTML5 so you can use it in the Canvas element um, in most modern browsers. So the toolkit for CreateJS now comes pre-installed with Flash Professional CC. So you go up to Windows, Toolkit for CreateJS, and it opens up the panel, which also supports the high DPI mode, as well as the new dark color theme of Flash Professional CC. OK, so once I've made the change to my code, then I'm ready to go ahead and publish. Um, all I have to do is hit Publish. It will do the conversion, display any errors that may be there, and we'll launch the browser. And now you can see the animation running. Um, right there, we've got the button working, and we've got now an HTML5-based banner ad all created within Flash Pro. So that's just a sample of some of the exciting new features in Flash Professional CC. Please join the Creative Cloud. Get your copy today. Thank you very much for watching.